Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2, May-June 2025, Variant 2.2. 2. I am going to solve the presentation task. The document production and database have already been done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So we will start with task 4 presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. Create a presentation of 8 slides using info.rtf. So I am using Microsoft PowerPoint. Select a blank presentation. Now we need to import the file. So go to new slide. Slides from outline. From your working folder. Select info.rtf. There will be a blank slide here. You can remove that. So we have 8 slides shown here. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. So all the slides have a title and a bulleted list. Place in the right side of the slide your name, center number and candidate number and the, in the footer automated slide numbers central line so in order to place the header and footer on the slides let's go to the slide master so go to view slide master choose the topmost slide here you can remove these three placeholders which because we can add our own placeholder to insert the data So candidate details must be on the right side. In order to insert the candidate details, go to insert a text box. On the right side, you can add your name, center number and candidate number. Make sure it is right aligned. Now in the center, you have to add the page slide number. So go to insert, again text box. In the center, you can keep the cursor inside the text box. Go to insert slide number. This hash shows the slide number. Make sure it is in the center. So we have added the header and footer on the slide. Now you can come back to the normal view. Go to view normal. So your name and the slide number will be shown on every slide. Delete the slides with the title Tavara Running Events and Prices. So we have one slide here Tavara Running Events and Prices. We have to delete these two slides. So delete slide 2 and the next slide. Use the data in the file age.csv to create a line chart to compare the total participation for men and women within each group. So we have to open the file age. So we need to compare the total participation for men and women in each age group. So the age groups should be on the category axis and the percentage on the value axis. So this is men and women total. Select the age group, men and women total. Do, do not select this total row because we need individually for each age group. Insert line chart. So this is the line chart. So age groups on the category axis, percentage on the value axis. So age group is on the category axis and percentage is on the value axis. Display a legend with the label male for men total and female for 
women total. So select the legend. This is the legend. Right click, select data. Men total, you can edit and set it as male. Okay. And women total, you can edit and set it as female. Give OK. So we have a legend set to male and female. Label the chart with the title gender distribution by age group. So this is the title. Add the title here. Format the value axis to display a minimum value of 0, maximum value of 0 0.42 and increments of 0 0.07. So this is the value axis, select the axis, right click, format axis, minimum value is 0, maximum should be 0 0.42 and the increment 0 0.07. So in major you have to set it to 0 0.07. So you can see the increments by 7 percentage here. Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title marathon participation. So, you can copy the chart. This is the slide marathon participation. It should be on the left of the bullets. So, move the bullets to the right side. You can paste the chart here. Make sure that no words are split, no, all data and labels are fully visible. The chart and its contents do not overlap any slide items. So it is set properly here. On the slide with the title Elite Runners, locate the two bullets describing the qualifying times for men and women. Format only these two bullets so that, so we have some formatting here. So go to the slide with the title Elite Runners, select the bullet points. So we need to increase the list level. So here you can see increase list level. Right click paragraph, make sure it is 2.5 centimeter. Okay. So it is intended by 2.5 centimeter. We have to change it to dash. Go to bullets. Bullets and numbering. Customize. You can select dash from here. You can select dash. Give OK. OK. The phone is already reduced, the phone size is already reduced, the text is displayed in italics. So make sure it is displayed in italics. On the slide with the title Elite Runners, format the text email us so that when clicked it opens an email editor to send a message to this email ID. So select the text email us, right click, link, you need to send an email, so email address, type the email address here, the subject is elite runner entry. Place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the link text, email address and the subject. So this is the link text, email address and subject. You can take a screenshot.
place in your evidence document. So place the screenshot in your evidence document. Next, save the presentation. Print slides 2, 3, 4 and 5 only as handouts in portrait orientation with two slides to the page, each filling half the page. So only slides 2 to 5 should be printed. So go to 5, print, give the slide numbers 2 to 5. And it should be printed as handouts with two slides per page. So select the option two slides per page. For the examination purpose, you need to add your candidate details here. You can give your name, center number and candidate number. So that it will appear at the bottom of the page. Print only the slide with the title Marathon Participation as a full page slide in landscape orientation. So Marathon Participation is slide 2. So let's go to print slide 2 only. Then select full page slide. By default it is landscape. So this has to be printed. Then you need to print the evidence document. So we have our evidence document ready here that needs to be printed. So this is the end of the presentation task. The word document and the database tasks are already done. Please check the description. Thank you for now.